you probably hate broccoli. I'm going to show you how to make broccoli you're actually going to want to eat. I'm going to go super quick. This is really easy. You need four ingredients. You need broccoli. That's this stuff. It doesn't come in a bag in the freezer. It doesn't come in a can. It's broccoli. Uh, it's where all the other fruits and vegetables are in your grocery store if you've never been there. It's where all the plants are. So you're going to start with some broccoli. Three, four, five, whatever you have, cloves of garlic, olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's four ingredients. That's five ingredients. I'm just going to start by chopping the broccoli. You can chop it however you want as long as it's relatively consistently sized. Uh, the first thing I do is take off the ends because it gets a little dry and woody. Don't need that. The stalk is actually the best part of the broccoli to me. All you have to do is trim off the outsides and you get a nice little tenderloin of broccoli. If you've never eaten this part of the broccoli, try this because you're in for a treat. Take off all the skin on the outside, cut it into a couple of thin slices, that goes into your steamer. The flowerettes just get chopped into even pieces. All right, I've got the broccoli cut into pieces in a steamer basket. If you don't have a steamer basket, go get a steamer basket. Got boiling water. I started it boiling before I started cutting to save a little time. Broccoli goes on, lid goes on. Six minutes. I like six minutes. Uh, I like my broccoli to have a little bit of a bite to it. I don't want mush. You shouldn't want mush either. And you're gonna cook it a little bit more in a saute pan after it's done steaming. So try six minutes. If you don't like it, next time do seven or five or whatever you like. Okay, it's been about six minutes and I've taken the broccoli off the heat, taken the lid off so that it doesn't continue to cook. If you leave the lid on, it'll keep steaming in there. So take the lid off and now I'm going to prep my garlic. Um, not garlic in a jar that's already minced up, not garlic powder, not garlic salt, garlic. Two ways you can do this. Uh, you can just smash the garlic with a knife and the peel comes off more or less just like that. Uh, I like my garlic a little bit more intact, uh, particularly for this uh, dish. So you can get one of these fancy $2 rubber things. Um, it works about the same, but it doesn't smash the heck out of the garlic. Whatever way you prefer. If you don't want to spend $2 on this, smash it with a knife. I like to slice my garlic a little bit on the thick side. Maybe, I don't know, a couple of millimeters thick. Cold pan, cold olive oil. Exactly that much. Don't deviate. Exactly that much. Put in your garlic. Then turn on your heat. I go a little bit above medium on my stove. Every stove is different. But you want to bring it up to temperature and get it uh, so that it's fragrant. Uh, you can smell the garlic really easily. Uh, and it starts to fry a little bit, but you don't want it to burn. That's why I put it in cold oil. If you drop the garlic into hot oil, it's very easy to get it to, to burn really quickly, and it tastes really bitter, and you don't want that. So that's what you're looking for. Uh, it's bubbling. It's not smoking. It's not super hot, but uh, it smells really fragrant. You'll have to take my word for that. So that's ready for the broccoli to go in. Uh, you want to drain out as much of the moisture as you can. Water and oil don't mix and then introduce the broccoli. And then we're gonna add salt and pepper. Um, I use kosher salt. Uh, you should use kosher salt. It looks like I'm putting a lot of salt. Kosher salt has bigger flakes than table salt. Um, it's really not that much. So. And then again, I think everybody should use fresh ground pepper if you can. Uh, just tastes better. Plus this looks way cooler than shaking a pepper shaker. So here's what we're talking about, a little bit of browning. This isn't burn, this is 
sugars that are caramelized and they taste great. So I'm happy with that. We're ready to play. So tonight we're having uh, Ropa Vieja that uh, the lovely Mrs. of All Trades made and uh, serving it over our yummy broccoli. So if you don't think you like broccoli, try it this way. Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> 